Welcome to Australian Cretaceous Park. You have a Megaraptorid? Oh yes, we have a Megaraptorid. Oh, uh, should we go? Yeah, so it turns out 120 million years or so ago, Australia was home to some pretty interesting and slightly terrifying creatures. They've got these large muscular forearms with these hypertrophied big recurved claws and they're effectively bringing you in for a hug of death. Oh, okay, well, thankfully they're not bringing them back to life. Paleontologists here in Boonwurrung country in Victoria have revealed evidence that a bunch of meat-eating dinosaurs once called this area home. This is the site where we've recently discovered the fossil remains of one of Australia's largest theropod dinosaurs to have ever lived. What Tim's talking about is a megaraptorid, a giant theropod that's only been found in South America and Australia. This is a two-legged, fast-moving predator, six to seven metres long. What we have discovered are the fossil bones of its lower leg and some of its vertebrae. The bones were discovered on the beach a couple of years ago, and since then, scientists have been working to identify them along with several other fossils found in the area that have been collected and stored by the museum for years. And it wasn't the only exciting find. This specimen was collected over 35 years ago, and it's only now that we understand that it represents the first fossil of a carcharodontosaur, a shark-toothed dinosaur, ever found in Australia. The carcharodontosaur was another species of theropod that lived in the Cretaceous period. Overseas fossils have shown it could grow up to 13 metres in length, about the same size as a T-Rex. Except this Aussie one was quite a bit smaller. It's just tiny. We don't see carcharodontosaurs this small in the fossil record. It's kind of weird and really interesting because it means a species that was king of the dinos in South America took second place here in Australia, while Megaraptors reigned supreme. And according to researchers, it could provide a clue about how these dinosaurs evolved and spread through Gondwana, the ancient supercontinent that Australia and South America once belonged to. Some previous researchers proposed that megaraptorids might have evolved here in Australia first. We're finding the oldest evidence of them in this country. But they were confined to a certain size and then would move on and disperse through Australia, through Antarctica, into South America. and attain a larger size. It also paints a picture of what life was like here in Victoria in the Cretaceous period and the amazing, terrifying creatures that once called our country home. That's just the beauty of paleontology. It's an ongoing science with just this long history and everything we can describe just improves our understanding of what these animals look like, what animals were present in Victoria and how our continents on this planet once were merged together.